Hi, I'm Jade from Ryobi Ties, and this is my review of the Ryobi 18 volt HP stick back. I'll be showing you some of the strong points and some of the weaker ones. This is the bedroom carpet. It is quite dense and the vacuum does a great job of picking everything up. The dual roller head works really well at agitating any debris and forcing it into the vacuum head. One of the weaker points is when vacuuming a small mat, I find myself having to stand on one side of it just so it doesn't get caught into the rollers and picks up the mat. Just something to add, this vacuum does have powerful suction, so be sure to pick up all large items or anything that you don't wish to be sucked up. A power cable got stuck once. Another cool feature is when vacuuming against the wall or the lounge, it goes all the way to the edges, which I really appreciate. And the light on the front comes in really handy for the pet hair you may have missed. We have two white indoor cats. I tend to vacuum daily. As you can see, the lounges get covered in hair. The smaller head attachment I find is best for the pet hair on furniture. I also vacuum in different directions to ensure all the hair is collected. The cats love laying on the lounge all day. This is the only way to get them off. When not using the extension attachment, sometimes the palm of my hand gets in the way and hits the power button, causing it to shut off. It's just an awkward spot when holding the vacuum with two hands. I don't know if it's just me being clumsy or if it's a minor problem for others too. But with a couple of passes, you can see that it gets rid of 99% of the hair. The kit comes with five different attachments. Some you'll use and some not as much. Out of all the different attachments, this is the one I find myself using the most. It is good with the window tracks and hard to reach places in the car. This one I don't use as much. I find it blocks the straws and is useless in my opinion, but others may disagree and have some use for it. It comes in handy when trying to clean under the fridge or dishwasher and the air vents in the car. And this brush is good at agitating all the dirt that is deep in the car mats, but the vacuum itself does a well enough job and I don't need to use it as much. The catching bin is easy to pop off with a push of a button and just as easy to clip back on. The vacuum has an on and off button at the top. The middle button is an eco mode, lowering the suction and giving you more run time. And the bottom button is to turn off the rollers but keep the suction. This does come apart as shown in the clip. There is two buttons you press to remove each part and pops back into place when reattaching. The smaller attachment doesn't click into place but it will slide on and sit firmly. Just as an experiment, we placed down some large pieces of cereal, rice and pasta just to see what the capabilities were, to find where any weak points would be. The chunks were too big and caused the vacuum to get clogged. The motor shortly cut out. We then found the chunks were getting caught in the opening between the vacuum and the bin. One thing that I love most about the vacuum is that it stands on its own. When turning the product on, it automatically starts on the high setting, unlike the Dyson which you have to turn the turbo button on. It works amazing on floorboards and Lino too. It just glides beautifully. If you like Ryobi products and want to see more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.